go to place me in four different section of the, sections of the deck, supposedly like that. They actually do go in, in separate positions. Now what you do is with your with your left hand just hold on to the to the out jog cards, which are the four aces in this case, and just pull off um, just pull off small packs as you would in a normal shuffle and continue on like that. Retaining the four aces at the bottom of the pack. Now as you spread out the pack, locate the bottom four cards with your thumb, which are here. And as you go to scrub the pack, obtain a break in the pack with your thumb. Now give the pack a few cuts and control the pack of four aces to the top. Now do, do an overhand shuffle like that by pulling off single cards at one time. Just get 12 off, like 1, 2, 3, 4, these are the four aces, and 8 more to get 12. Which is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then place the rest of the pack under it. Now give the pack a good power. In other words, just interlace the cards. Aces would be separated by one card each. So one here, one here, one here, and one there. So you see the four aces. Now screw. You don't point that out to the spectator, but you know where it is. So all you have to do is cut to um, just less than half of the pack. So the top quarter of the pack. No, no, the top, the top half of the pack. And you would most likely get to the ace because there's like a 10 way leeway, 10 way gap um, for the first hit because there's cards in between the aces and here I'll explain what I mean. See if you get to a card like the 10 right, you might not actually cut to the ace because you actually cut to the 10 right, but you don't show people this. You take a slight glimpse of this and you take the ace because it would most likely be the next card. And now I can show you that either cards either side are different and place it back on top. Remember to place the card after it, so the card after the ace on top of the deck, like that. Now you can go for the next one. Now you have an eight gap, eight, eight card leeway, and this time you got to the ace, so that's all you do. You show the next card isn't, and you show the card after that, and the same thing. You just repeat for the last one. To approximately and you get the diamonds. This card isn't, that card isn't, right? Now for the last card, because you you have like a two card gap, right? It's possible, but it's really hard to, I, what I recommend is pretend to either go through the deck and like approximate where the card is, or just say, oh, you have a pretty good idea of the pack and name a number. Let's, the number for this would be 21, so in the 21st position. Or you can say 20 and just turn over the 21st card. So you count down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I'll build up the suspense and the 21st card should be the ace. Which is right there. So. Sorry. Yeah, so the 21st card, which is the ace.